pandemic has certainly impacted children's ability to learn in many ways, but it's not stopping some universities from still giving their students a chance to study abroad. Katie Weiss found the pandemic is shaping a new way of doing that for years to come. I think now more than ever, uh, there is an onus on people to be these global citizens and recognize that your community is important, uh, but there might be something going on on the other side of the world that uh, that's extremely valuable. Max Morgan is a graduate student at CU Denver. He studied abroad a few years ago as an undergraduate, but this May he studied abroad from home. It's a unique challenge and, and you have to set personal goals about what you're going to gain from these classes. Um, you know, you, you don't have what I call over the shoulder help. At a time when many universities around the country are canceling their study abroad programs due to the pandemic and travel restrictions, CU Denver is working to offer virtual study abroad opportunities for students. Max took a three week online course based in Denmark. He says the program opened new doors. So we learned about a few companies in Denmark and you're sitting there as a student going, well, I would love to work for one of these companies, but uh, what's in my backyard? And lo and behold, some of these Danish entities are right here in Colorado. While it may not be the same experience as physically traveling overseas, program organizers say going abroad online has its perks. We really think that it's here to stay for those students that can't travel overseas, but they understand the value and importance of growing their global lens. CU Denver is now offering virtual abroad programs in South America, Europe, India, and Jordan. And even after the pandemic is over, some virtual abroad opportunities will likely remain. Max encourages all fellow students in the state to give it a shot. I felt like I have new uh, friends and resources and peers um, in, in, in a variety of fields. I'm Katie Weiss, covering Colorado First.